Dear students, today we are going to discuss about converting an orthographic projection into sectional orthographic projections and we will learn the command of hatch that means how to give hatching lines into your orthographic projections. We have already covered front view, top view and left hand side view of this particular object. Now we will consider this A to A as a cutting plane and will cut the object into two parts. We always remove the part of an object between cutting plane and the observer. So we will be removing this front half of the object. After removing this front half, the object will look like this. So let's go in detail. So this is your upper cylindrical section and this is your lower semi-cylindrical section. After cutting the object with the cutting plane AA over here, this semi-cylindrical section will be cut into two pieces and only rear quarter part will get retained that is over here. Similarly, from this entire cylindrical section only rear, rear cylindrical section, rear semi-cylindrical section will be retained and that is over here. Front semi-cylindrical section will be removed. Next is your rib. So into that rib, the rear 6 mm thickness will be retained and front 6 mm thickness will be removed. After that, this entire rib section will be removed from the object over here and the rear rib section will be retained over here as it is. Then next is your upper cylindrical section. Over there, this front half, front semi-cylindrical section will be removed That and the remaining semi-cylindrical section will be retained over here. Okay, so after cutting the object from the cutting plane AA, it will look like this. So now we will be giving the hatching area to our front view since my front view will be a sectional front view over here and which area we are supposed to give hatching lines. So the area which is in contact with the cutting plane will be given with the hatching lines. So which area is in contact? So let's look at that. This part will be in contact with the cutting plane. Then this part will be in the contact of the cutting plane. So this entire area will be in contact with the cutting plane. So this part will have hatching lines. Next, we have the cylindrical hole over here. So this diameter 32 cylindrical section have area on the back side which will not be in contact with the cutting plane. So that part or that area will not have hatching lines. So over here in the object, in the 3D view, we can understand over here that this section will not be in contact with the cutting plane. So this area will not have hatching lines. Next, the base plate below this 20 millimeter will be in contact with the cutting plane. That means this section will be in the contact with the cutting plane. So this area will have hatching lines. Similarly, this part over here, remaining part of the cylindrical section will also be in contact with the cutting plane. So this area will also have a hatching lines. Next is your rib. Now we need to be careful over here that rib is also in contact with the cutting plane. But since the rib is being removed from the thickness, rib is being cut half from the thickness so that the rib section will not have hatching lines. Though it is touching to the or though it is in contact with the cutting plane, it will be kept blank without hatching lines. Next, this part is being removed so no question of contact with the a cutting plane or not. But exactly behind this, there will be a thickness of 10 mm over here, which is being represented like this. And this part will be in contact with the cutting plane. So over here, we will be having hatching lines. Next, this much height of the cylindrical section will be in contact with the cutting plane. Then this height will not be in the contact with the cutting plane since that area is on the back side like this, since we have a hollow cylindrical part over here so this area goes little back side from the cutting plane so this part will go without hatching lines and again this height of 15 millimeters will be in contact with the cutting plane so that part will have hatching lines over here so let's see which parts are there having hatching area so i'm keeping my hatching lines on layer on i already have made it you can see over here so this much area will be 
having hatching lines. I hope you have understood. Let's move on to this part over here. Before we move on to this, I have written some simple points over here which are very useful from the converting orthographic to sectional orthographic point of view. You can go through these points. The first point is boundary should be dark continuous as of usual orthographic projections. So whenever you are converting your orthographic projections into sectional orthographic projections, so always prefer to draw your orthographic projections in a paint manner. So let's assume that we have drawn this entire front view with a paint manner and what the first point suggests is that your boundary should remain as it is like this. There will be no change on your boundary lines. It will remain as it is continuous dark. This line will not form the boundary inner side. This line will also not going to form the boundary. So likewise you will understand which edges will form the boundary. Next part is your convert your hidden lines to continuous lines as applicable. Uh, I have written as applicable because many times few hidden lines may not get converted to your continuous line. So we need to take care. Uh, over here this cylindrical section earlier it was not visible from the front view but after cutting the object we can easily observe these two edges are visible to us so we need to convert these two lines into visible edges like this okay then similarly this cylindrical section was also not visible in the front view initially in the normal orthographic projections but after cutting the object this cylindrical section, this hollow cylindrical section will look like this. So these two inner edges will be visible after cutting the object. object. So let us convert that also into visible edges. Okay. Now we have a basic rule in our engineering drawing or engineering graphic that dark continuous lines cannot intersect each other. That I have written over here. Fine. And my third point is to check continuous lines to be removed or add. So right now, let's combine these two points together and check out whether any continuous lines are intersecting or not. So look over here. These two continuous lines are intersecting each other. Similarly on this side, similarly over here. Now, what we are supposed to do over here is we have just converted our hidden lines to continuous lines. That means we are very sure that those hidden lines will retain them. So but of this, those Continuous lines needs to be removed. So what we will do? We will trim that much of the part. That means we will remove this much of the part by using trim command. I am very sure that this vertical line will remain there because just now I have decided that those hidden lines will be converted into continuous lines. So but of this I am supposed to remove this continuous line. Similarly I have, re I have converted this hidden line into visible line right now. So this will retain there. And we will be removing this much of the section. Okay. And we will be also removing this part. Since that is already being removed. Okay. Now next. Again. We know that this section is there on the back side. So hidden lines are supposed to be there. But at first year engineering level. We will not keep any hidden lines in our sectional area. Our next point is select area to be hatched. So now we already have decided which area is to be hatched on the basis of contact between object and the cutting plane. So we know that this area is supposed to be hatched. We know that this area is supposed to be hatched. And my fifth point is no lines shall pass through hatching area. So again it is for FE drawing level, FE engineering drawing level. No lines should be there, should be there in the hatching area so according to that if i know that my hatching area is over here my hatching area is over here also then there should be no line over here earlier this line was drawn earlier this line was drawn for this okay but this part has been removed from the object so it is not expected over here so again we'll use stream command to remove that line from there okay we'll remove it similarly on this side we will keep the rib section as it is but we will be removing this because that part will no, not having any kind of age over there. Okay and obviously we need to remove one more part from there and that is this part. 
because no ages will be there. We know that ages are there in the normal orthographic, but that has been removed. And in the backside over here somewhere, there will be no ages over here. It will look like this. So this way we can easily convert our orthographic projection to sectional orthographic projection by following few simple points over here. We have removed or we have added up the continuous lines as required. We have selected the area to be hatched. No line shall pass through the hatching area as per our posture engineering drawing level. Then rib shall not be given hatching if cut from the half from the thickness. So we have not given the hatching area over here. Next hatching line should be inclined at 45 degrees and equally spaced. We will not bother about this thing because in the AutoCAD we have a command that is known as hatch command. We will go to hatch command. Then it is very simple to apply this hatch command. Uh, look over here. We have first command at the pick points. So in which area we are supposed to give the hatching area we will select through this pick points. That means over here, over here and over here. That's it. And what pattern we are supposed to apply? We are supposed to apply 45 degree incline line. So we will be selecting A and SI31 which is already inclined at 45 degrees and equally spaced. Next pattern is given. You keep it by layer. Okay. Uh, I just made a mistake. Uh, my layer should have been on. That layer is my hatching line layer. So let me open that layer section first I'll be converting into hatching lines and then again I'll be applying the hatch command draw hatch okay already uh, my hatching was given to it so let me remove this and I'll be giving again the hatch command draw hatch okay pick points so over here one area second area and the third area will change the pattern as applicable then over here angle should be kept 0 and scale you may need to change hatch pattern scale you may need to change depending on the spacing over here fine and remaining other things we don't need to change all is as applicable so it is that simple we'll clo close it it is done so how to do it we'll see it again very simple draw hatch command pick points will help you to pick up the areas just go into that area and select those areas like this. I'm just dragging my cursor like this. So it will select the area. Go into that area and click over there. Then select your pattern. Uh, generally we keep ANS at 31. No need to change the angle over here since it is already at an angle of 45 degrees. And uh, sometimes you need to change your hash pattern scale. Scale if it is uh, very close to if this load lines are very close to each other. Fine. That's it. So we can easily convert our orthographic projection to sectional orthographic projections. Thank you. So guys, that's it.